Hi everyone, this is War Turtle from Lexi's Help Desk, and today I'm going to show you how to build a merge using the program ZMerge. So if you've been following along with Lexi's guide, you're probably at the merge page here. And you can find this on the website. If you go to guide merge page, you'll find uh, all the instructions of what we're going to talk about here today. So the reason that we're doing this is to try and decrease the number of active plugins that we have in our right pane of Mod Organizer 2. The game can only load so many, uh, and so we need to merge some of them together. Uh, we're going to do this first by creating a blank template that we can work off of. Over here in the left pane, you can see all of your mods. And up here, under Profile, you'll see that you are on your Lexi LOTD profile. I want you to click this button, Configure Profiles, which will bring up all of the profiles that you have. Now, you can see I already have made all of my profiles. You probably only have a few of these, probably just this one here and maybe a vanilla profile. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a blank profile that we can work from. What you're going to do is highlight the Lexi LOTD profile and choose Copy. When you're going to enter a new name, you can enter blank profile for merges. I'm going to just write blank profile because I already, I already made mine. You can see that makes a new profile here. We're going to highlight it and select it. Now that we've made our blank profile, we're going to highlight it and change to it. We're then going to left click anywhere in this uh, left pane, right click, highlight all mods and choose disable all. Yes, you really want to do it. Um, and now we have a blank template with nothing active that we can work from. That's what we want. So I want you to again click configure profiles and now we're going to build our first merge. Highlight blank profile and choose copy. This time when you go to Lexi's website We'll go scroll down to the very first merge, and we can see in this first box we have the name of the merge. I'm going to highlight that, holding down the left mouse button, and to copy it, I'm going to press Control C. Back in Mod Organizer 2, I'm going to paste that name into the new profile. You can see merge animals merged. Now, this merge at the beginning is purely for organizational purposes. There's no function to it. I'm going to choose OK. Once I'll highlight it and choose Select, I'm then going to switch to my main profile, the Lexi LOTD profile. Now, before, if you followed this guide in the past, you, you'll remember that you we had to manually build all of the merges ourselves. We now have a new tool that can save us a bunch of time, uh, even though we still have to build part of it ourselves. And that you installed on the prerequisites page. And if you click these little puzzle pieces, you should see it. It's called Prepare Merge. So we're, first what I'll do is I'll click this while I am on my main Lexi LOTD profile. It's going to bring up this screen. Uh, down here, you'll see this button, Load Active Profile as Base. Click that. Then close the window. Now, the plugin knows that these are all of the plugins that we have in our game. We're then going to change to our Merge Animal Merged Profile. Here, we have no mods active and no plugins active. We're then going to go back to prepare merge. Now, this time, we're actually going to find the plugins that we want. Um, and I'm actually, before I open that up, I'm going to minimize my mod organizer 2 so that I can see my web browser. Because I want to be able to see which plugins I need in order to build this merge. So you can see the first plugin that I'm going to need is this one, Critic Kitty Horses for SSE.esp. 
Over here, it shows you the mod that it comes from if for some reason you need to find it manually. So I'm going to go back to the Plugins tab and again, choose Prepare Merge. I'm going to move this over so that we can all see. Um, but what we're going to do is first look for the very first plugin in this table. Now, it's important that these are in the same order that you see on the website. But I'm going to highlight this plugin and choose Copy. And in the filter below, the left pane, I'm going to paste it. You can see this plugin now appears. I'm going to drag and drop it over into the right side. And you can see I've now selected it as part of my merge. I'm going to do the same thing with each one of these. Copy, paste, drag. Copy, paste, drag. And I'm just going to do this very quickly for all of the plugins in this merge. All right, now I'm done. So in the past, you used to have to manually go and find each one of these plugins, activate the mod, make sure that it was in the correct order in the right pane of Mod Organizer 2. Now, this plugin helps, uh, helps speed things up considerably. Now that I have them in the correct order, I'm going to choose Prepare Merge in Active Profile, this button down here in the middle. Click it, and it will ask you, are you sure? The answer is yes. Just choose yes. And what you'll see when you close this window is you now have those plugins that you chose at the bottom of your merge in the correct order. But not only that, the plugin also loaded all of the required masters for those plugins. Now, you can see there's a warning here. If I change tabs, that goes away. That's not supposed to be there. Um, and you can see this patch isn't active. That's fine because it doesn't need to be. Now that I have these plugins with no warnings up here other than files in my overwrite, I'm ready to go ahead and build my merge. Let's click the executable bar and scroll down until we see Z edit. Go ahead and choose run. Yours may show up as SZ edit. Um, if it doesn't, choose Z merge, that's what you want it to say, and then choose start session. Z merge will load up and you'll see if you've built any merges already, you'll see the profiles here already. Um, now you are going to have a blank screen if you're doing this for the first time. That's okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say create merge because that's what we're going to do. Now, if you remember back on the website, this was the name of the merge. Let's go ahead and copy it again. We're going to paste it in the name of the merge. Now, you can also see that it changes the file name to say merge animals merged dot ESP. Okay? That's not what we want though. We want the file name to be animals merged dot ESP. So I'm going to copy that and paste that in the file name. This is really important. The file name itself has to match identically, otherwise the conflict resolution file will not work. The next thing I'm going to do is go to the Load Order tab and check Use Game Load Order. I'm then going to go to the Plugins tab and scroll down. You can see all of the plugins that you've loaded, but you only want the bottom. In the case of this merge, Critic Kitty Horses all the way through Omega Lexi LOTD Animals Merged Consistency Patch. Highlight them, right click and choose Toggle Selected. Then click OK. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, right, you now uh, can see this is the new profile that I just created. It says that it's ready to be built. It's never been built. You can check and make sure that the file paths are correct. Green says that these are new plugins that have never been done before. And then you click Build. This will build the merge. And once it's done, just like that, close the pop-up box and close Z Edit. Back here in Mod Organizer 2, I'm going to switch back 
to my Lexi LOTD profile. And if I scroll all the way to the bottom, I should see my new merge. Now, I've already built this merge once before, so it's handily already up here in the merged files, okay? But you need to then move it into the correct place, activate it, and then go on to build your next merge. Hopefully this new plugin makes sense. If you have any questions, be sure to come over to the Discord and jump onto the installation help channel. Uh, folks over there are always happy to help.